Hi, how are you doing? Uh, I'm looking forward to working out with you today. All we need is our Pilates bar. So I've chosen to stand on a mat. So if you haven't got a Pilates mat, that's fine. You're fine on a wooden floor, a tiled floor, carpeted floor. I just like to use the mat to keep my toes nice and warm. Um, so the bar, the straps are going to go round the arches of your feet, okay? You're gonna hold the bar in your hand. And before we get started, we're just gonna take a moment to think about our posture, because after all, this is a Pilates class and we're using the bar to create resistance, to create challenge and a little bit of fun. A whole lot of fun, hopefully. Okay, so for the purpose of this exercise, the standing exercises, where we're gonna focus on balance and hip mobility, and we're gonna use your core, I want you to draw your feet closer together so your ankle bones are almost touching. You're gonna lengthen the legs without locking out the knees. Pull your shoulders down away from your ears and then imagine a string crown of your head pulling you up. You're gonna draw your navel, your belly button, in towards your spine, that zipping sensation. Okay, we're going to just take a nice big inhale. So my hands are shoulder width apart. And as you inhale, just raise the arms up. So just, you'll find, feel that resistance from the straps, slowly release. And again, inhale. So we're just warming up those shoulder joints and release. And again, I'm going to turn side on. You're fine to stay where you are. What I want you to think about now, as those arms come up and we create that resistance, are you leaning back to lift the bar? So I want you to breathe out. Just lift to where you can. Use your core and lower. Breathe out. And then thinking about our ears, not our ears, our shoulders. What happens when things get, the going gets tough? We lift those shoulders up here. So we're gonna keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Two more here, breathe out. So I can feel my glutes engaging. I can feel that I'm using my core to stabilize my spine and relax. Well done. Okay, shoulders already feel a whole lot warmer. Okay, we're gonna focus on our balance now. So you're gonna bend the elbows, bring the bar up to your shoulders. Take the hands a little bit wider and then try and hold the bar as level as you can so we're not pushing more with one arm than the other. And again, engage your core. So lift the crown of your head towards the ceiling. So as you lift your right heel now, you're shifting your weight into this left foot, into the left hip. So the foot's hovering off the floor. Use the whole of this left foot. So your big toe, little toe, heel, create a tripod on the floor that's gonna help you to balance. Now you're gonna draw the right knee up towards your chest and then press down without that foot coming all the way to the floor. Inhale, exhale. So the higher the bar here, the more resistance. So it gives you some support in when you lower that foot down and it's also gonna make you feel like you can get a little bit more of a range of movement in this hip as that knee draws up towards your chest. You're gonna go two more here. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep looking straight ahead. I know you'll want to look at the screen. Bring that foot down and rest. So you should feel, just relax the arms, that you're getting a burning feeling in that foot, potentially in the calf. That's those stabilizing muscles in your foot, into the leg, firing up to help you to balance. It's great, okay. Breathe through this, relax those shoulders again. So now your left foot is coming off the mat. You've shifted your weight into the right hip. Try and avoid this, that hip coming out. Think about standing tall. Find that connection with your core. Breathe in as that foot comes up. Breathe out as you lower. Breathing in and out. So it's always more challenging for us humans to balance on one leg than the other. So this is definitely my more challenging side. Okay, I'm gonna breathe through this. I'm gonna try and keep my shoulders nice and relaxed. Think about my posture, standing nice and tall. And I'm gonna go two more. So are you, joining me, well done. And one more. And as that foot comes down, shift the weight so we stand tall, relax, release the arms. Well done. We're gonna go again. So feet still narrow, toes down on the mat, bicep curl here, shoulders relaxed, core engaged. So we're going back to the right leg. 
So the weight shifts to that left foot and that left hip. We're gonna take the leg out inside of us, try and keep your bar, bar as steady as you can. Now we raise that leg up and lower that leg down. So as I draw the leg up, in order to get lots of flexion in that hip, lots of mobility, there is a very strong temptation to lean back. To lean back here to increase that range of movement. We're not, we're just cheating really. So don't worry if your leg isn't coming as high as mine, maybe it's coming higher. Well done, two more here. One more after this one, well done. Shoulders nice and relaxed. Bring that foot down and relax. Okay, release the arms. Okay, slowly but surely we're gonna get through these numbers. It's awesome to, pal to practice um, exercises that focus on balance. It's amazing when you start doing these how much you have to connect, not just through the foot, not just through the leg, everything, your whole body. You create that stability through your center, through your powerhouse, use your core, well done. Okay, now do breathe with this, try and relax those shoulders, lift and lower. And it's normal, as we were just saying, to feel that you have a greater range of movement on one side than the other, well done and making this your last one. Try not to lean back and bring that foot down and relax. Again, how are you doing? Give those shoulders a little shrug. Okay, so we're now gonna bend the knees. So we're gonna give our arms a little bit of a rest. Bend your knees, press up and bring the bar down to rest on your shoulders. And then we're gonna stand tall. Okay, feet still narrow. Stand tall. Now we're going back to the right leg. You're gonna lift, shift the weight to that left hip, lifting that right knee, pause here. Now rotate out to the side. Sweep that leg, knee back to center. So it's the rotation in the hip that we're looking for. I'm trying to keep my hip bones forwards, my pelvis forward. I'm trying to minimize the rotation in my spine thinking about the rotation in this ball and socket joint. Well done, you're gonna go one more. You're gonna go out to the side, well done. Keep that leg rotated, press down. Breathe out, lift. Press down and lift. Can you see the concentration on my face? That burning sensation in this left leg is real, well done. One more and lift. Rotate to center, bring that foot down, soften those knees, take the bar overhead, have a little rest. Okay, shake out those legs. We're going to repeat that on the other side. Okay, are you with me? Okay, taking our time, knees soft, extend the arms, bar comes behind you, and then lengthen the legs. So thinking about our posture, our connection with our core, shoulders relaxed. So the left foot lifts, Weight shifts to that right leg, that right hip's done tall. Lift the left knee. Rotate out to the side, lower. Lift, come back to the center. And again, we rotate out, down, lift, center. Ooh, a little bit more, a little bit wobblier on this side. Lower, lift, well done and rotate to the front, back to center, well done. Now we rotate out, we're gonna go down and up. Well done. So I'm keeping that knee nice and wide, trying to keep my hips as square as I can. It is very challenging. Okay, we're gonna go three more. Well done. Two more, oops. Well done, and last one. Take your time, rotate to center. Bring the foot down, take the bar overhead. Well done, let's give ourselves a little rest from our balance work. And we're gonna take the feet so they're shoulder width apart, okay? So you want your toes, feet parallel, toes forward. So you're trying to avoid rotating out or those heels going out. Okay, soften the knees again, bars going overhead. Place that bar across your shoulders, stand tall. Okay, we're gonna squat low. Think about your hips coming level with your knees. Now, 
we're going to load the hips first. What we don't want to do is load that knee joint. We want to load our glutes. So start to hinge at the hip. Hips are lowering down. Head stays lifted. Try not to throw your head back, but neither are we dropping our chin. And we stand. Come to neutral hips. Squat down and stand. Breathe in. Breathe out. And again. So coming down nice and low and lift. So hips driving back and inhale, exhale. I'm going to turn, you're going to keep going. So you've got four more reps to go. So the hips drive back and stand and three and two and one more and all the way up. So we walk those feet slightly narrower now. Okay. So balance and squats, we're going to combine. So we squat low. You're going to stand, shift the weight to your left hip, raise that right leg out to the side, bring that foot back down to the same spot, squat low. Stand tall, find your balance, look straight ahead, raise the leg, lower, squat and stand. How are we doing? Find that control. So this is not about speed. It's finding that connection, using those muscles that are gonna help us with stability. We want strength here. We want connection. We're gonna use our breath, lift, lower. How are you doing? Now, the temptation as you lift that leg is to do this, to lean over to the side. So as much as possible, standing tall, think about that rotation in the hip. Well done, we're gonna go one more. Doing really well. We're staying on the same side. Now you're gonna squat low and you're gonna pulse. So we come low. We're gonna pulse, tiny movements. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Well done. Three, two, one. Stand tall, shift the weight to that left leg, raise that leg. Eight, seven, well done. Six, try not to bring that foot down onto the floor. And again. You've got five, four, three. So the Pilates bar, the strap, the elastic gives you a little bit of support and control. So you feel like you can go more. We're coming down again. Stay low. Watch you not throwing your heads back. Head in line with your spine. Core engaged. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pause and hold. Eight, try not to press down heavy, just rest your hands. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stand. Raise that right leg and pulse. Eight, seven, six, well done. Five, slow and controlled. Don't rush with this. That's it. I can see that leg's going faster. Slow it down. I've lost count. So we'll do three more. We're going to go two more. One more. Hold and balance here. So pointing that toe away, standing nice and tall. We're going to go four, three, two, one. Bring that foot down. Okay. Well done. I want to soften your knees. Take the bar. Relax. Stand tall. Shrug out those shoulders. Shake out the legs if you need to. Have a drink of water because we've got the other side to do. You know, you know that's coming, don't you? Okay, so soften the knees, bring the bar to your chest, extend the arms, take the bar behind you and stand tall. Okay, rest your hands on the outside, relax your shoulders. Feet, a little bit wider. Okay, we're gonna stand, squat and stand for eight. Always driving those hips back. Now, you can see me. I can't see you right now. What I want you to do is if I was in class with you, I'd be checking your posture. What I would be checking is this, that as you squat, we're not doing this, that the movement, keep going whilst I talk, isn't all happening here at the hips, okay? I don't want you just to hinge forward. I want you to bend those knees. I want you to drive your hips back. And as you stand, lengthen through the legs, find that connection with your glutes. 
your chest stays up. Well done, we're gonna go two more. And then one final thing is making sure the knees aren't caving in. Let's do one more. And we're gonna stand, well done. Walk the feet in. So they're slightly narrower. Okay, narrow squat. We're gonna come down and we're gonna raise the leg, left leg now, out to the side. Relax your shoulders, core engaged. So we squat low, stand, find that balance, shift the weight to the right leg, lift, lower, and stand. So it's gonna take a few repetitions just to get your body used to what's happening as we've switched sides. So maybe for you, this is the easier side. As I've already said, it's not for me, but that's okay because I'm now aware of that. And the whole point of this is to build strength and work within that challenge. Okay, and we're gonna go one more after this. So we sit nice and low, that's it, stand tall, shift the weight to that right hip, lift the leg, lower. Okay, we're gonna squat pulse for eight. So the first thing we do, we drive the hips back. You know this, we stay low, we pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly stand, lift the crown of your head, shift the weight to that right leg and then we lift and pulse, eight, seven. So trying to keep the toes of that right foot down on the mat, so I'm having to really slow it down here. Five, well done. And four, and three, take your time. And two, and one more. Well done, to put the foot down, squat low and pulse, eight, seven, six, five, try not to press too hard on this bar, four, three, two, one, and hold, hold, relax your shoulders, core engaged, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we're going to stand nice and tall, we go to that right leg on the floor, foot on the floor, raise, lift, eight, Seven, try to keep your bar as horizontal to the floor as you can. And that's four, so now we're halfway. And four more. And three. And two, whoops. One more, if you feel really wobbly, just breathe, breathe. Don't hold your breath, hold. Point that toe, eight, seven. Try and stand tall, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the foot down, awesome. Bend your knees, take the bar overhead, stand tall, shrug out those shoulders. Grab yourself a drink of water. We haven't finished, okay. There's more fun to come, more challenge to come. Okay, so we're gonna take the bar. Um, so the hands are shoulder width apart and you're gonna bend your elbows. So every time we do this, I want you to think about your core. Do you do this? Do we hinge here? Because we don't want to do that. We use our core to support our torso. The movement comes from the elbows, okay? So those elbows are gonna stay tucked in. We're gonna bring those feet back to a narrow stance and I'm gonna come forward on my mat, okay? We're gonna take the right foot forwards here. So jump not too high, hover the foot off the mat. Now I want you to rotate in that hip joint. Sweep that leg behind. Now I can feel my glutes switching on. Hinge forward a little bit here, lift and lower. Tiny, tiny movement and lift. So I'm gonna to turn to the side. You're gonna keep going with this. So you can either have that left leg straight or the tiniest little bend at the knee, so you would be here, okay? You're gonna go four more, three more, two, one, stand tall, sweep that leg round. Sweep that leg behind, keep that long spine, keep lifting the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. You're gonna go three more, well done. Navel to spine, core engaged, well done, and last one. And relax, relax the arms. So I could really feel that in my glute and in my supporting leg. 
Core was having to work hard as well. Well done. Amazing effort. We're doing this together. We do the, do the other side. Okay. So finding our good posture first, that connection with our core. So shoulders nice and relaxed. So we take the left leg out in front. Okay, and we're gonna sweep that leg behind. And then we're gonna rotate, bring that leg forward. So I went a little bit fast then. So I nearly, nearly lost my balance. Take that leg behind. Softly point the foot, sweep that leg forwards. One more time. So I'm always a little bit conscious as I do these standing exercises about how my own posture looks on the camera. So I discovered Pilates. Sorry, we're gonna turn. I'm turning to the side to, so you can view me better. We're keeping that leg out. We're gonna take that leg behind. Gonna lift and lower here. So I discovered Pilates. We're gonna lean forward a little bit. A number of years ago, because I was aware that I had a, I have, not had, have a scoliosis, a slight curvature of my spine, my pelvis, and it has helped me enormously. So you may notice, you may not, when I'm on camera and I'm standing, that I can look quite twisted. However, from where I was to where I'm at, it's amazing, and we're all a work in progress, and the most important thing is I feel stronger, and I feel in control of my body, and it's a really good feeling. One more. Take your time, stand tall, sweep that leg round, bring the foot down, and relax. Awesome, they are really challenging. Now, what I want you to do is soften your knees, bring your bar down onto the floor. That's the easy bit. We're gonna step over the bar, so I've still got the strap around the arches of my feet, and then, I'm gonna take the bar behind me. So, my feet are shoulder width apart. Not narrow, shoulder width. So come to that stance for you, and then I want you to soften your knees. Now my hands are just slightly wider than my shoulders, so I'm not holding the bar. So my palms are facing up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna work our triceps. So, soften those knees. Try and keep your spine as neutral as possible. We're gonna lift and lower. Now what's really good about this is straight away, because my right arm is stronger, if I let it lead, this would happen. This would happen. Can you see the right side lifts more than the left if I come this side? So what I'm trying to do is press equally through both sides. Both arms, breathe out, press and lower. So shoulders nice and relaxed. Find that tension and lift and lower. You're gonna go three more. Well done. Relax the shoulders. Two more. Well done. And one more with me. Lift, core engaged. Now we're gonna lift, but only in a second. Stand tall, shrug out those shoulders. This is a really good workout. It's really challenging. Um, you're doing so well, so you're here. Now you're gonna pulse, 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 pulse. Okay, we've got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Don't lose that connection with your core. Three, two, one, and stand. Awesome, now soften those knees from your hip hinge forward. Now what I want you to avoid is this, rounding your spine. So keeping a long spine, chest up, we're gonna do exactly the same move. Core engage, we lift and lower. Lift and lower. You've got five, four, well done. Three, wow, can you feel that burn? Two, one, Take a rest, I'm being really kind because we're gonna come that back to that and we're gonna pulse, okay? So knees soft, hinge forward, long spine, head in line with your spine, lift and pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. I'm smiling through this. We've got four, three, two, one, and come all the way up. Oh my goodness. Well done, so pop the bar down. 
Step back over that bar, I've lost my straps. Okay, not to worry, let's just address that, just get me sorted. And then we're gonna come back to the mat. Okay, back to the middle of your mat is what I meant to say. So now we're gonna finish with a round of squats. Um, we're gonna focus on raising the arms. So really working these shoulders and some rotation for your spine. So you decide how much tension you're gonna put on this bar. So my arms are shoulder widths apart, slightly wider, in fact. Okay, focus on um, the correct positioning first. So to raise the arms up, now as I've done that, we're not leaning back. So it might be for you that the arms are here and that feels enough, okay? in order to maintain good posture. What you don't want to do is be here. So pull those shoulders back, okay. So raising the arms up, drive the hips back now, squat low. As you come up, you're gonna keep the arms up. So drive the hips back, so you're pushing away from the bar and lift up. We squat down, we stand tall. Well done, you're gonna go four more. <sighs> And three. So remember, your arms don't be, have to be as high as mine. They could be here. You're still pushing that bar away. And press that bar away. And stand tall, relax. Okay, now we add in the rotation. I'm going to lower my bar down because what I don't want is my shoulders to shrug up towards my ears. Okay, so I'm raising the arms, but not as high this time. Find that tension, pull the shoulders back. Squat low. So then it's a twist, so the legs stay still. So I'm not allowing my knees to move with me. Knees stay static, twist to the opposite side. Center, stand. Wow, that really burns your shoulders. Now, if this feels too much, you're gonna pop the bar down. So pretend I've still got the bar if you've got yours. You're gonna come down. You're gonna twist, center, twist, center, and stand. Alternatively, we're using the bar. Okay, we're gonna do a few more together. Squat low, drive the hips back. Turn to one side, center, rotate, center, and stand. Keep going, you're doing amazing, okay. Keep going, keep breathing with this, well done. Keep thinking nice and low. In your squat, drive those hips back. Let's go for one more. We're down. Twist, center, twist, center. Bring the bar here and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stand. Amazing. Okay, I want you to comment. I want you to tell me how you found this uh, workout. And I want you to know what you want next. Your hard work is done. Awesome effort. I will see you very soon.